Hey, this is Philip with Go Web Examples. In this video, we will start diving into writing a fully functional web application. The application will be a simplified Reddit clone, so basically a form with threads, posts, and comments. We will start by creating the database layer to interact with these entities, mainly the threads, posts, and comments. In this video, we will set up the database structure and create the SQL migrations for them. Let's start by opening up our terminal and navigate to our project's workspace. In here, we can create a new directory, which we will call Go Reddit. Let's move into that directory and initialize a new Go module with a go mod init command. The name of the module will be github.com slash go web examples slash go reddit. Once the module is initialized, we can open up the project in our IDE. Let's first create a new file, which we will call go reddit.go and declare the package name go reddit. In here, we will define all of our global entities and interfaces. For our entities, I like to use UUIDs for the ID fields. Since Go does not have a UUID type, we can grab the Google UUID package by opening up our terminal and running the go get command with the github.com slash google slash UUID package name. This will download the UUID package and add it to our dependencies. Let's create our first entity type, which will be the thread entity. A thread will have the following fields. An ID, which is of type UUID. Let's also give it a DB struct tag to indicate the SQL driver to which column this field belongs to in the database. A title of type string and a description of type string. A thread is basically a collection of many posts. So let's create a post type as our next entity. A post will also have an ID of type UUID. A thread ID, which indicates to which thread it belongs to. A title of type string. A content field of type string. And a votes field, which holds the number of up and down votes made by the users. Our last entity for now will be a comment. Just like posts and threads, multiple comments belong to a post. Just like the others, a post will have an ID, a post ID, so it indicates which post it belongs to, a content field of type string, and also a votes field just like the posts. Let's define what kind of storing and retrieving operations our database should be able to do on our entities. For that, we can create interfaces for each of them. Let's start by creating a new interface, which we will call thread store to manage our threads. A thread store will have the following methods. A thread method to get a thread by its ID. It returns a thread and an error. A threads method to get all of the threads we have. It returns a slice of threads and an error. Create thread to save a thread to our database. It returns just an error. Update thread to update a thread. And a delete thread method to delete the thread by its ID. You might have noticed the asterisk in the create and update thread methods for the thread parameter. If you're not familiar with this, this means the method could potentially modify our given thread. This is useful when the database processes some of the columns during the execution, for example, if we had a created add or updated add field in our entities. We might add them to our entities later in the series. Let's define the next interface for our posts. To make life easier, we can just copy the thread store interface and replace thread for post. And we will do the same for the comment store. Also, let's change the post method 
to posts by thread, because we are more interested in the posts of a thread rather than all of the posts, and give it a thread ID as a parameter. And do the same again for the comments. Now that we're done defining our interfaces, let's create the actual database migrations. We create a new directory called migrations and add a new SQL file, which we will call one create tables.up.sql. In here, we can define our database schema. Let's open our Go Reddit file side by side so we can take a look at the entities. Our first table we create will be the threads table. Just like our thread entity, it will have an ID column of type UUID, which is also our primary key, a title column of type text, which is not nullable, and the same for the description. The next table will be for our posts. It also has an ID column, like in the threads table, a thread ID column, which references the ID column of the threads table, and the onDelete cascade directive, which deletes all of a thread's posts if a thread is deleted, a title field, a content field, and a votes field of type int, which defaults to zero. Let's do the same for the comments again. Create a comments table with an ID as the primary key, a post ID to reference a post, a content column, and a votes column. Because the migrations should be possible to be reversed, let's create a one create table dot down dot SQL file. In here, we write our drop table instructions in the reversed order to the create table instructions from the up dot SQL file. In the next video, we will set up our database using Docker set up the adminer interface to see what's going on in the database and test out our migrations.